staying at Columbus in Monte Carlo. What a beautiful day! So nice, the breeze. currently at Is Village and look at the amazing view behind us. Ah, so nice. The weather is perfect too. So you can either take a day trip from Nice or you can take a day trip from Monaco. Both are very accessible by car. And it's a little village on top of the mountain. It's like a medieval village. Quite a few nice restaurants, small hotels. Arts and crafts. So if you want to come, I think you should come from Nice because the uh, transport is just cheaper. If it's Monaco, they have to take the taxi, which is $75 for a short drive. Whereas if you take from Nice, it's probably like 20, 30 euros. decide to come visit as village wear proper shoes <laughs> sport shoes climbing shoes it's quite yeah. a climb and it's quite steep there's a lot of steps so and cobblestone so <laughs> definitely uh, slippers will make it yeah thank you look at all these different cactus At the top of S Village, there is this floral exhibition. Exotic garden. It's called Jardin Exotic. There's a lot of different cactuses and it's overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Look at that. So gorgeous. You have to buy tickets to get in. It costs 8 euros per person. But totally worth it. Yes, totally worth it. Look at that view, I mean.
so I think this is super worth it. The view is stunning and it's totally worth the 8 euros per person that we paid. <laughs> if you come here, definitely you have you to, come, have to here, come up yeah. here. This is the highlights for sure. For, for sure. sure. It's the top of the mountain so you get the panoramic view of the sea, the land. On one side, you can see the city, so all the houses and then on the other side, you see the sea. Yes, come the here, photos that here, we took, so nice. They close at 7.30 at night, so make sure to come before they close. Okay, I think now it's time for dinner and a huge glass of ice water. Yep, let's or go. Beer. <laughs> let's let's go. go. It's, a, good. it's super, super sunny and super hot. I think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> the weather is actually pretty good when there's no sun, so when it's sheltered, it's actually cooling. But at the top, it's super sunny. <laughs> So cute. Oh my god, this climb is killing me. <laughs> we have to work for our food, our dinner. I'm just following the sign to this restaurant that is like super far away. <sighs> Hi, table for two? For drink, yeah. Uh, for food. Like very fragrant, not too bitter, not too sweet. Very refreshing and fruity. Very Is it because you're thirsty? No, oh, it's very tasty. It's very tasty. Mm. Mm. It's probably oh, one of the best so beer <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> I'm not a beer person, but this is damn good. It's probably the best beer I've tasted. What's it called? Blonde? Mm, du Mokanto. <sighs> okay, the sun is finally setting a little bit. Mm. Oh, it's cloudy, cloudier. It was killing us. Am I getting a tan? I'm getting tan. trying to find our dinner spot because there are two nice restaurants up there with a view but both are fully booked. No, four, four restaurants are fully booked. Four are fully booked. I guess maybe people come and specially book that for dinner, you think? Probably, yeah. So, book before you come. <laughs> yeah, the dinner you should book before you come. And we are hungry now. restaurant at the base of S Village so we are super hungry. Bon appetit! We have a bottle of wine, fish and chips and burger and there's a very big screen there. So we get to watch the Euro Cup as well, the Euro Cup finals. Who do you think will win? Spain! Spain! Let's go! <laughs> Hey. Hello. 
Hello. So we are at the airport now. Of Côte d'Azur, which is the uh, name for the French Riviera, including Nice, Saint-Tropez, Monaco. Okay, so let's break down the expenses for three days, two nights in Monaco. For the hotel, we spend 1096 for two nights at the Columbus Hotel. The hotels in Monaco are all super expensive. So I think the hack is that if you stay in Cape d'Al at the Marriott, the price is about the same, but you probably might save some of expenses for your travels. So the next item is food and drinks, where we spend about 522 over three days, two nights. So the next expense is for taxi and Uber. We only took one Monaco taxi to the airport today. The rest of it, we took the Uber using our hack. <laughs> So it amount up to about 250. And the next is entertainment. So this includes all the tickets that we had to purchase to enter the casino and enter the museum. So this cost us uh, 135. And lastly, shopping. So we bought uh, some souvenirs for ourselves. This amount to 66 dollars. In total, the damage for this Monaco trip is 2,173 and we couldn't make back anything because there's no poker game, zero. <laughs> it's an expensive trip to Monaco but it's an eye-opening experience. I think definitely worth visiting, especially Nice and Monaco, the whole stretch is quite beautiful. So for those of you who are in cooling weather, want to get some heat, <laughs> you can go over. So this also concludes our Monaco trip. The past two days have been great. Awesome. Monaco, you have been so fun, but super hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a Mediterranean weather, hot in the day, cooling at night. So we had a very good taste of the rich people life in Monaco. <laughs> so we are on our way to uh, Paris now. It's a short flight and we'll be there. So looking forward to visit Paris. The weather is cooler. It's 24 degrees to 14 degrees. So stay tuned for our next vlog in Paris. We'll see you there. It's in Crozon. Croissants. I'm going to eat croissant every day. <laughs> see if we can shop and see if we can finally play poker. Yeah, see if we can get some good games going and party. Bye bye, see you there. See you. <laughs>